You know the feeling where you notice yourself getting slightly thicker around the midsection. You look in the mirror, you hop on the scale, and you're kind of like, ah, all right, like, I guess I got to do something about this. Something has to change. And then you do the almost suicide-inducing process of Googling and researching what to actually eat every day. And then, after all that, end up just coming back to square one after weeks of suffering and denying yourself all the food that tastes great, and then eventually concluding, screw it, I'm just going to eat what I want and enjoy my life. In the last video here, we talked about why I think, I believe, you should keep going no matter how many times you might have failed before on your health and your weight loss journey. But here's something else here. When you do weight loss right, how to lose weight properly in 2016, it's a lot more fun, and honestly, it's a lot more effortless. And to show you this, not just tell you this, I want to tell you about five Modern Health Monk success stories. People that have been through my programs, and I want to share with you the exact success principle they applied to kind of get the results that they did. The first person here is Shannon. I've talked about Shannon quite a lot. And Shannon and her husband, they both wanted to get fitter and lose weight. And Shannon actually ended up just changing one habit. She's a busy mother. She had a full-time job. Changed one habit, which was bulk cooking. And ended up losing combined. They've lost over 50 pounds. Maybe even much more at this point. And Shannon got down to her lowest weight pre-pregnancy. Her success secret? Bulk cooking. Now I also have a friend, Mike. Mike is not only a friend in real life. He was one of the first people in the Real Food Tribe, one of my private membership courses, and Mike, his big problem was that he didn't have really good social support. He didn't have a good social circle to help him get better. So he actually shifted it. And instead of doing all this stuff himself, because he realized he was never going to do it. Yeah, right. Work out before work or do it after work. Instead, he got five close friends, colleagues at work. And since they all ate together, he said, hey, guys, well, why don't we just go to the gym together an hour before lunch and then have lunch together? We can all hold each other accountable. That was it. That was the... Archimedes lever that helped his results go off the charts and lose 25 pounds and it was way less painful than the many, many other times that he tried it. But some people, it's a matter of getting to that point, that famous point, that one time where they're so sick and tired of feeling sick and tired or there's a catastrophe, like a parent dies or a friend dies that's your age and you're like, wow, am I really at that age where we start dying? Sometimes it's the catastrophe that hits. And Tom recently sent me an email after going through my emotional eating course where he talked about losing 44 pounds in just over four months because he had hit that moment where he was so tired of things going the way that they were going, he was willing to do anything to start over and begin fresh. And look at the results. Look at how quickly that happened. Sometimes it's as powerful as choosing the right why. And inside Dream Body, one of the things we talk about is the foundational success habits. Because I believe, and I believe this is accurate because I've seen it before, is that if you don't have the right foundation, the success habits, doesn't matter what plan you try. It won't work. There was recently also a couple, Marge and Guy, and they both had joined my course, Dream Body, the same time together, which is awesome because look at how quickly they started seeing results. Within the first two weeks, they were both seeing results in the program and no doubt because they were both going through it. They were holding each other accountable. They were doing the daily habit training day by day. So the fourth success principle here is have somebody to actually do it with. I know you hear it. I know you maybe pay a lip service, but if you do it with a friend, I mean, it's so much more fun than trying to go after some challenge by yourself. And the fifth one I want to share with you here is Abby. Abby wanted just to live a better year. She wanted to have the best year ever. She emailed me over a series of years. She's been following me almost since Modern Health Monk's inception. And last time she emailed me, she said she lost over three stone, which is 42 pounds, everything on her fit differently. And she was still doing a lot of stuff she wanted, eating things she wanted, only in the gym two days a week. And she honestly had a life. She wasn't buying into this whole BS stereotype that you have to be a gym rat or restrict all the things you like. She had a life. So do you see what I'm saying here? If you do weight loss right, you pick the right habits, you commit to them, you apply the right strategies. It's not about effort and pain and grinding it out and discipline. It's about doing the right strategies and then sticking with them over the days, the weeks, and the months. That's why it's about this tiny daily habit philosophy. That's why my book is called Master the Day. And that's why Dream Body is built upon these habit principles. Now, in a few days, we're going to be talking about another strategy you can use to get immediate results to shift the way you eat 
Not restricting things, not removing stuff, not piling in weird juices and veggies and things like that, but a simple strategy anyone can do, no matter what stage you are at trying to get fitter or healthier. And I'm going to make it very, very actionable. So if you haven't yet, make sure you get on the Dream Body waitlist right there below, because I'm also going to be sending an early bird email for those of you that are interested in the course. You'll receive a 10% off coupon 24 hours early. So I look forward to hearing your thoughts right there below. Make sure you join the early bird list if you're interested. But for now, share with me which of those strategies you think is going to help you the most or which one you think is going to be the easiest to apply.